Hello beautiful Cancerians, how are you today? This is your top secret cross watchers video. It's all about the other person, their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and their actions towards you. So let's see what we've got out here. We have to clarify everything because without clarifiers, it is very hard to get the true story. We get a first impression with the first layer and we get details with the second layer. So let's see what we've got. I like some of the cards here, okay. So we have a lot of action. This is a very serious reading. This is very meaningful in terms of their thoughts, feelings, and intentions with you. I'll explain what is what here momentarily for you. Welcome to all new viewers. I'm delighted that you stopped by. And I also want to thank all of my lovely subscribers for their support. All right, Cancer. So when we look at the top card row, we're looking at their thoughts of you. They feel it's like, honey, I'm home. I want to rush in. The Two of Cups, I love you. Ten of Coins, you are the person in my future. You're the person that I envision having a long-term committed relationship with. And the cards that just fell out of the deck, look at this. The, f the Five of Swords reverse looks like many of you are coming back from a very, very thorny argument that was very painful. Your person is conflicted about how to approach you. They started a little bit of a bonfire in this relationship and they need to put it out. Do they love you? The answer is absolutely yes in their heart space and they have remorse and regret over how they treated you. So they understand that they weren't very nice with those fives of conflict but the heart is true. Their feelings towards you or their thoughts towards you are pretty clear. You know, they really do think they owe you an apology. I like the fact that heart space energy came through in the top row with the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. Look at this. They see you as someone with whom to invest. That is their, that in their heart space, they are invested in you. The Empress card is manifestation of everything about you that's lovely, that's beautiful. They see you as highly desirable. They really do see you as their person. Now, the Five of Wands has appeared twice here. So in the heart, this person's heart space, I do see sort of a conflicted energy. I do think that that's inner conflict, although it can bounce out to be outer conflict, as it did earlier for you. They do think divine timing is at play. They don't want to hear any complaints. You know, it's like they can't stand. This is not a pers person who can really take criticism a lot. The Judgment card says that their intention is to try to take back something that they did or said. We do get the tower card reversed. And so that is Aries energy and that Scorpio energy. So they did bring about an ending with you. And in their heart space, they now have remorse. They wish they hadn't done it. They want to reverse the process. Their heart is hurting. They want to, quote unquote, unrelease you or unset you free. Obviously, those aren't real words, but you get the drift. So let's see in terms of their intentions with you. Cancer, the Eight of Wands. Ooh, beautiful, passionate energy. Seven of Wands, they feel as though you may be a little bit defensive. Yeah, Ace of They want to throw caution to the winds. They intend to throw caution to the winds. So let's see what we have here for the Seven of Wands. They do feel that they want to stay on top of the argument so that they don't get sort of kicked to the curb. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Their intention is to make a more committed relationship with you and or live with you, have a live-in relationship with you. That's buying a home. That's marriage. It's, it's renting a home together, but it's really being together under the same roof. So they have the Two of Wands. What is the choice that they feel they have to make? They have to make a choice for happiness. Excellent energy. They're at a crossroads, and they know that their happiness is at stake. Their sense of serenity and stability without you is something that they're quite aware that they don't have. Strength card. That is the infinity symbol. When you look at the infinity sign on her forearm, you really see two people who your person really intends for you to be their forever person. 
so really good energy. But look at this. It's so beautiful. The sun card, happiest card in the deck. The two of cups. Soulmates of the of the Minor Arcana, the Ace of Cups, really loving somebody in your heart space, wanting to be married, wanting to make love. This is really quite a beautiful reading, but it does look like they kind of made a mess of things for, for many of you in the recent past. Okay. The energy that came tumbling out is that their actions are, they're not really ready to come forward yet, but I do get that they have a loyalty towards you. They definitely feel very passionate towards you with the King of Pentacles. So we do have Taurus, Cancer, um, Taurus, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Cancerian, Leo energy, we also see um, Sagittarius here. The Eight of Cups is Pisces energy. The Two of Wands is is uh, Aries energy. Capricorn, excuse me, um, Scorpio and Virgo energy. So this person seems to know what they want. The energy that they have towards you is strong, and it is stable energy within their own heart space. Let's see why the King of Pentacles is here for your reading, Cancer. They're working on something before they throw caution to the winds. Okay. They want to figure out how to have better equal give and take with you. And their action is, why do we have the Eight of Cups? I feel as though most of you are in separation now. So I feel like this Eight of Cups, I feel as though their actions are an awareness that they need to give you more. They're not quite ready. They're working on themselves. But I do feel as though they're underwater here, that there's something that they have in the memory of what they did with you, which was a walking away, you know, starting a fight. So this sort of resonates in that regard. Uh, we get the Four of Cups energy, so it shows that they think that you might have walked away from them. They don't know what they don't know, and they think that you might really not want to hear about what they're going to do or what they're going to say. But what is the real action that this represents? What is the action? Because this really looks like they're having remorse and regret and not taking action quite yet. Let's see here. We have... We have Oh, good. The Eight of Swords reversed, so they reversed some of their actions. Yeah, they reversed the action of having really left you and abandoned you. The Seven of Wands, they feel defensive about what they did. They emptied out the Cups of Love because those are reversals. So right now your person is, what will they do? Nine of Cups, your wish comes true. So it does look like this person is really caught up in a lot of really deep, heavy emotions about the relationship and about what they did. It looks like they have a fair amount of guilt. You know, they don't want to really hear. They don't want to hear the complaint department. You know, when they come back, they, they're just going to say something like, well, you know, let's just not worry about that. That happened in the past. And your reaction cancer is going to be, but we have to worry about that because we can't have it. We can't have it happen again. So here we go, man holding the heart, beautiful energy for you, and woman holding a heart. I'm going to leave it there for your cancer. Have a good one. Bye-bye.